이대환 수령 김일성 동지 만세! A party and a provocation. That pretty much sums up North Korea's weekend, marking the anniversary of the birth of national founder Kim Il-sung. But it also gives us a hint as to what the North's planning next. First, let's just review those celebrations. Fireworks on Friday night and a mass dance performance in Pyongyang, according to North Korean state media footage. And then, leader Kim Jong-un visited the mausoleum of his late grandfather to mark 110 years since his birth. He was accompanied at Kumsusan Palace of the Sun by his wife, Ri sol -ju, along with top aides. Despite that big round number though, and the fact that this anniversary is the North's biggest national holiday, known as the Day of the Sun, there was no military parade to go along with the festivities. We know from the South Korean government that officials here had been watching closely for moves related to such a parade, which might have shed further light on North Korea's weapon development status. Yet, North Korea did fire two projectiles into the East Sea on Saturday evening, according to South Korea's military. And they certainly weren't part of the fireworks. The North later officially confirmed it had carried out the successful test firing of a new tactical guided weapon of great significance to both frontline long-range artillery capabilities and the operation of tactical nukes. This test, which was also overseen by leader Kim, appears to have involved a newly developed heavy artillery system or upgraded KN-23 missiles, according to observers here. And while not as big a provocation as an ICBM test, the new weapon system would potentially pose a threat to South Korea and US forces here. And this move may be seen as a warning, given that the test firing happened just before the start of joint South Korean-US springtime drills, which North Korea has been upset about for years, and days after the USS Abraham Lincoln Strike Group was reported to be operating off the Korean Peninsula. If the goal of the US was to deter North Korea by deploying a carrier group to the East Sea for the first time since 2017, it would appear Pyongyang is set to escalate things further. The feeling among officials and analysts here in South Korea is that the North will go ahead with a military parade on the 25th of this month, which is the 90th anniversary of the founding of the North Korean People's Revolutionary Army. We understand from a military source here that the North has already mobilized thousands of troops at an airfield in Pyongyang, while tanks, aircraft and other military hardware have also been moved there. There are even apparently flags marked 425. And so we could yet get a glimpse of North Korea's latest missiles on parade, in addition to a potentially imminent nuclear test, as there have also been continuous observations of restoration work at the North's Pungeri nuclear test site.